Pavelio. It's not like her to forget. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just... The post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Well done. You certainly know what you were doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on, and she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. her egg. <sighs> For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. Confringo! <sighs> brought to capture her. At least ten, usually. Yeah. Ah, there she is again. From a distance. I see the bridge wasn't spared her wrath either. Good thing it's fixable. Eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. Watch your step. She 
must have been starved to pick off a grapple. Or just raring for a fight. Why is every bridge Repair. broken? Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl.
How could I have been so blind? Revelio. You'll never believe what- What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. 
Neither the imperious curse nor the killing curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well- I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Poor Anne and Sebastian. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I can't lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Thank you. 
Bavenia. Dear, do you mind the tiles? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. 